Congratulations, Angela, winning with your question that tied for third. Do you see any happy surprises in store for the planet this year? Yes, I do. When I merge with streaming consciousness and go to the future, I view sneak previews, little snippets of potential positive future moments existing beyond time. There are lots of predictions concerning the end of 2012, cataclysmic events, some even predicting the end of the world. Others believe that the end of the Mayan calendar, corresponding with December 2012, indicates some sort of ending. What if the Mayans simply ran out of stone? But here's what I do know about what's ahead, and it's pretty exciting stuff. I believe that in this lifetime, many of us are going to be knowing, sensing, and seeing things that we could never have dreamed, not in our wildest imagination. This is part of the evolution of our species. I believe that we're becoming truly multisensory, multidimensional, highly intuitive beings. By multisensory, I mean telepathic communication with others in and out of the body, precognition, sensing future events in our dreams and or our awakened state. And by multidimensional, I mean an increased awareness of things happening beyond time, perhaps more deja vu moments, the feeling of revisiting a moment, event, or place, or a growing sense and evidence that we're not alone in the universe. More and more clients are expressing these kinds of experiences. You know when you have the feeling that you may be playing the same part over and over, as if on automatic, as if it's embedded in your DNA? It may be a theme that you came in with, one that you're here to move beyond. It's enough to observe repeating themes in just this lifetime. And when you notice repeating themes, sit with that realization for a moment. Just observing it is going to help you program in new responses to old triggers. What's so fascinating about this shift in consciousness is that 25 years ago when I started doing this work, people were interested in merely gaining access to these kinds of gifts, all the while thinking they were so weird. Nowadays, many more people are attuned to and much more comfortable with the gifts they have. I once went to expanded consciousness inadvertently and found myself standing in a circle with others, all of us communicating telepathically with each other. I felt an incredible sense of unconditional love, mutually shared appreciation for each other's unique gifts, all complementing each other beautifully. I was also aware of seamless communication between the physical third dimensional reality and the non-physical fourth dimension. There was also an awareness of receiving assistance from other beings who, by their very presence, elevated our own frequency of light and goodwill. I believe that this vision of the future is near, and I'm excited to witness all that is becoming through this work. Stay open, listen to your heart, and hold on to your etheric hats. It's going to be an awesome ride. Look in the mirror and see someone you truly love who's growing beyond any lifetime in this life space. Much love.